Hi everybody, it's Greg. Thanks for joining me today. I want to talk to you about something in astrology called Saturn Returns. It's something that's quite, um, I think, quite an advanced concept. Um, certainly when I first started to do astrology, I didn't know very much about it. But in my experience, it's actually turned out to be one of the most important things that I can look at when I'm looking at someone's chart. So their kind of birth horoscope, their natal chart. Um, and obviously it's got to do with Saturn, um, but what I look for when I do someone's chart, I look at what was going on in the heavens at the moment of their birth. So I look at where the Sun and the Moon are in the chart, then I look at what Mercury are doing, uh, what Venus is doing, Mars, those are the personal planets, and then I also look at the outer planets. I look at Jupiter, I look at Saturn, Neptune, Uranus, Pluto. And um, Saturn in particular is often known as the dark sun. It's like the antithesis to the actual sun. So where the actual sun is warm and enlivening and encouraging and all of that stuff, Saturn is often very um, cold and dark and unpleasant and, and really a tough energy. So the way it works is that you've got your birth chart. Okay, Let's say it's a circle here on your hand. And you've got planets dotted around everywhere. Okay, So when you were born, let's say Saturn is there. Saturn will move around the chart. Da -da 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 -da, and it will take it 28 years to get back to that point where it was when you were born. And that's what a Saturn return is. That 28 year period it takes to move all the way over and return to where it started out. So it takes 28 years. It can take up to 29 and a half years. That's the first time it happens. It happens again between 56 and 50, kind of 9. That's the second time it goes around and hits that dot again. And then the third time is 84 to 88. Okay? So, obviously most people are going to experience it twice. And when that happens, when it goes, you know, when it goes back and hits that space, it's like sitting life exams. It's like sitting the test. So in, if in the first 28 years of your life you have certain issues, so let's say um, you have addiction and you have family issues, those will come to a head at 28 and you'll have the opportunity to look at them and either rid yourself of them once and for all or you will engage with them but not be able to let go and carry them on into the next period. So these Saturn returns are vital super important areas in your life where you have the opportunity to face the difficulties, to be done with them, to let go of them, to rid yourself of them, and then to move on into other things. So for instance, let's say, um, you know, the addiction and family stuff you dealt with, then in the next sector you will look at other things you want to perfect. And let me just give a bit of background here. The astrology chart is a visual representation of what your life experience is going to be like. It shows me where you've been in the past, in past lives. It shows me what assets you have in this life, what challenges you have in this life, where you want to get to, what you want to achieve in this life, and what issues you have to work with to get to where you want to go. And the whole point of coming to planet Earth is to perfect spiritually for the universe, for God, for source, for the higher power, whatever you want to call it. It's to perfect your soul, your spirit. So these are unique to you, very specific to you. Okay, so you've sorted out the addiction and family stuff. Then in your second period, before the second Saturn return, you may look at romantic relationships and finances. And then age 56 and 59, you'll sit the exams again, the Saturn return exams, and you'll have an opportunity to tick those off and be done with them and then move forward or continue to work on them. And in my experience, the people that I do astrology readings for, 99% of people have massive things happen around age 28, 29 that completely change their lives um, and that really alter the direction of their lives. Because these are key themes, you know, if you're if something's been plaguing you your whole life and you're able to let go of it, that changes your outlook, it changes your energy, it changes what you will attract into your life and everything will change. What also is interesting is that 
again, let's go back to the birth chart. You've got this circle here for where the planets were when you were born, okay? That's always the same. That's a snapshot in time. That will never change. That's unique to you. But the transit, so those planets are still moving around. So the way in astrology we do it, we take that um, circle of your birth chart and we put the transit around it. So we've got two circles. And in the second circle, Saturn will move over all of those planets that are in your first circle. It'll move over those and affect them. So let's say Mercury is here and Saturn comes along and moves over it. Saturn will suck the life out of your natal Mercury and will make communication really hard. And it'll move on and then Jupiter sits there. It'll suck the life out of Jupiter and make growth and expansion really hard. So whatever Saturn moves over, it really raises the stakes. It makes it tougher. And depending on what your chart is like and where Saturn sits, when it returns, will indicate what other things are being affected. For instance, in my chart, Saturn is right next to Jupiter. So there's a, there's a push and pull. You know, Jupiter's get bigger, Saturn is get smaller. And there's a push and pull. So when my Saturn returns, it's like, okay, do I grow or do I shut down? Do I continue or do I stop? Do I focus on the domestic inner stuff or do I move house? You know, those are the questions that come up for me personally. And you will have specific questions that come up for you personally. So it is a really, really important event. It's really interesting as well to just kind of find out um, why certain years in your life were difficult and to see what the choices were. And it's it's something that I really, really look at when I do charts. So have a look. If you're around those ages, if you're around age 28, 29, then have a look whether, you know, what's being affected. And if you'd like a private reading with me, then please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. Please remember to subscribe to my channel. When you subscribe, it helps other people to find the videos and it just um, helps the videos actually reach people. So that is greatly appreciated. Thank you. Um, if you want to connect with me on Facebook, you can. It's facebook.com forward slash Gregory Scott 444 and I hope you found this useful. I'll speak to you soon.